The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Dan Illinois at the Sun Devil 47, tied at seven. Here is play action to the left. Now back to the right, steps up, throws it deep. Got Jenkins, got his man at the 10. Quick release, intercepted. And Terry Hawthorne will take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Illinois. Fighting Illini Insider is brought to you by Fighting Illini Energy, the official electricity choice of Illini Nation. The Illini Card, the official credit card of the University of Illinois. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's edition of Fighting Illini Insider. I'm your host Brian Barnhart and we're joined by head football coach Tim Beckman. We'll talk about the other Illini sports as well here as we're into the fall season in early September. But uh, Coach Beckman, a great win for you and your ball club and the program with a win over Western Michigan to get it going in 2012. Well, very proud of the way the guys played and uh, you know, we can only get better. As we watched that film and graded that film, critiqued it, we watched it uh, this last night and uh, the players understand that it was a good win for us, no question but definitely things we can improve on. As we're going to see here in our highlights coming up, uh, turnover is a huge part of the day on Saturday. Well, I think that's part of the game, and everybody understands that. We've got to create them, and we've got to make sure that we secure the football when we're on offense. So uh, that's something that we talk about each and every day that we're out there on the field, and I think our defense really came through. All right, a good way to start the year. The Illini 1-0 after a victory over Western Michigan, and let's go to Memorial Stadium for the highlights from Saturday. And good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 2012 football season at historic Memorial Stadium in Champaign. It's Fighting Illini football as they open the season today against the Broncos from Kalamazoo, Michigan, Western Michigan, the opponent here in the season opener for 2012. 13.30 to go, scoreless first quarter, play action to Young. Shielow steps up, going deep, got Langford over the middle. 30 of Western Michigan to the 20, to the 10. He's gone. Touchdown, Illinois. 64 yards. Trying to go up 10-0 inside of six minutes to go here in the first quarter. Snap is a good one. The hold is good. The kick on the way by Imicus is good. He got that one from 43 for uh, Western Michigan. Here is the snap back to Carter, throws it over the middle, pass deflected. I think Buchanan may have got his big paws on it. Four minutes to go, first quarter here in Champaign. 10 0 Illinois. Fourth and two, pass over the middle, deflected, and this time it's picked off. Michael Buchanan picks off the pass, and the Illini have it at their own 35 yard line. Gain of 24 yards to the Illinois 35 as they go from right to left late in the first quarter. Carter with a little jump pass, throws it to the right. Illinois has got another interception. Picked off by the Illini. Nathan Shieldhouse off to a good start today, six out of nine. And he's gonna hand it up the middle. John Davis, big hole, 35 of Western Michigan. And down to the 31 yard line before they catch him. Osig with a snap back to Shielow. Here comes the rush. Throws it over the middle. Got a man wide open. First and goal, Eddie Valunas with a catch. The big tight end with a catch inside the five all the way down to the near the one yard line. Davis is lined up to the left of Nathan Shielow. Nathan going to keep it himself. Quarterback draw. He is into the end zone. Touchdown, Touchdown. Illinois. Right from the beginning. Four yard gain on first down. Second down and seven. Here's a quick pass to the right. Nearly intercepted. Knocked down incomplete. Here is the snap back to number 14. Carter in trouble. Buchanan's got it. And down he goes. Back inside the 30 yard line. How about Michael Buchanan? Line eye three of nine on third down. Two receivers right, one left. The back is young to the right of Shieldhouse. Snap from Posick to him. Here is Shieldhouse, lobs it right side. Nice catch by Young. Caught at the 40, 45 yard line out of bounds. Backs are split, Ferguson and Davis. Snap back to Shieldhouse, hands it up the middle. Davis, big hole, 15, down close to the 10 yard line, down at the 12. And reviewed it. Illini had 11 play drive, but no points. Rush on Alex Carter, and he is going to be sacked. As they started at the 20, the Illini blow through there, and Akeem Spence. Again, a quick snap. Back to pass, Carter throws it right side this time, caught. Good for a first down, up in it is the receiver, may have dropped the football. Illinois is gonna get the ball, it's a fumble on Western Michigan. 
Big catch by Western Michigan, keeps the drive alive. First and five, rush on, Carter hit as he throws, dumps it out of the flat, caught at midfield. They slip a tackle, but pull down as the tight end, grab Matt Cutler with the catch, but Hawthorne spins him down. Pressure on, crowd making noise. Here is Carter, throws it, it is picked off. Ashante Williams, he's gonna get a pick six, I think. He's down at the 20, he's gone. Touchdown, Illinois! Ashante Williams, he read the route perfectly. He's got a pick six. Touchdown, Illinois! Tim Beckman has his first win as a head coach in the Big Ten. With a win over a team he knows a lot about, he shakes hands with Bill Cubitt of Western Michigan. Down to three seconds left. Players all over the field, and the Illini in blue are celebrating. They're 1-0 under Tim Beckman, 1-0 for 2012. They win it here today, 24-7 over the Western Michigan Broncos. Welcome back to Fighting Illini Insider for this week. I'm Brian Barnhart, by, uh, joined by, of course, head football coach Tim Beckman and uh, coach turnovers. We've talked about it before the break. We saw it in the highlights. A huge part of the day, the defense forcing four turnovers, three picks, and a fumble. Well, you can't say enough about the turnovers. And uh, as I've mentioned uh, since I've been here, you know, it's something that we had, had to get better at doing. I think uh, when you look at the whole team as a whole, Defensively, we've got to create and keep on shooting for four game, and then offensively, we're going to limit ourselves. One, at the most, is for turnovers for offense. Ernest Thomas with a pick as it turned out. Mikey Buchanan deflected a ball and caught it, uh, but the big one late in the game, mm -hmm. as we're going to see in the highlights, uh, Shante Williams with a 60-yard interception return, pick six, his first career interception. Well, I tell you, it didn't surprise me much because of the way that uh, Ashante had been, been working for us, been playing throughout spring ball, been playing throughout camp in two days. Uh, he's really had a great, great camp, and you could see that his game was just progressing and progressing. Well, you've talked about the, the defensive effort forcing the turnovers, the total defense in Saturday's ball game, uh, minus six yards rushing. That's hard to do against anybody. Sure, sure. Again, <laughs> uh, you know, I think Coach Banks, our defensive staff, uh, had, a, had a great game plan, and, uh, you know, you, you have a game plan there, but the players have to perform that game plan. Uh, so, of course, all the credit goes to them. Well, it's uh, key to that, obviously, getting the pressure up front. Uh, one of your guys up front, Mikey Buchanan, we're going to hear from him in a feature coming up here in a moment. But uh, just a, a great job by the entire defensive line to really uh, kind of plug everything up in the middle. Sure, Mike's definitely the name up front. There's, uh, he's, he had an outstanding game, tipping passes and stopping the run and intercepting balls and all that good stuff. Uh, but there's a bunch of players up there, Glenn Foster, Akeem Spence, uh, you know, and, and uh, Timmy Kennard had, had fine games, but Michael Buchanan's a special player. And so many times when you get that pressure from Buchanan and others, it makes a huge difference, can help your secondary as well. So let's talk about Mike Buchanan a little more in depth, big number 99, a, a young man that uh, kind of in the shadow last year of Whitney Merciless uh, here at the University of Illinois, but still had a really good year. Well, I think a lot of, a lot of people know about Michael Buchanan because of what he does on the football field. He's an outstanding football player, been around some top defenses in the country, and Michael Buchanan definitely definitely fits in with those, but a lot of people don't realize what Michael does for us off the field and his great leadership that he provides our football team uh, each and every practice because the way he plays on Sunday or Saturday, excuse me, is the exact same way that he practices uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yeah. So he's very impressive. Might be playing on Sundays too. Let's learn more about right. big number 99, Michael Buchanan with this feature. Brian, back to pass, and he's going to be sacked. Michael Buchanan steps up in trouble, being chased. Down he goes. Michael Buchanan. I'm an in-state guy, and um, and just you know the tradition that they have here. Um, you know, it was always one of my top schools growing up. I always loved watching them. You know, play games. You know, things like that. I idolized a lot of guys that play here. Guys like Simeon Rice and you know Dana Howard, you know a little bit before my time, but I, I watched some of the old games. You know I always wanted to be in the now. They have the lead early in the third, 14-10. Give to Trumpy to the right side and nothing home. Here is Percy in trouble. They trip him up. Michael Buchanan. I see like Miami or New York. Um, just you know you always see the 
see the glamorous life, you know, the movies and, you know, things like that. So I would definitely say uh, I wouldn't visit one of those cities. And the quarterback and the tailback run into each other, and that's going to result in a loss. Michael Buchanan. McGloin under heat, and he is going to be grabbed by Buchanan, who slams him down to the grass. Well, my all-time favorite TV show is uh, The Wire. Um, it doesn't come on anymore, but um, that was always my favorite TV show. Um, I just recently rewatched all the seasons and everything. On their own 41, and the give is to Toussaint. This time the Illini there to greet him. Low snap to Robinson. He's not going to get in. They're going to come away with nothing. My freshman year and sophomore year of high school and um, you know it's kind of the number I kind of you know got my start in when I, you know, I really started realizing that you know I was going to be a, a football player, a D1 football player. Um, I kind of had the hoop dreams growing up you know there's a lot of guys and they're from the Chicago area they want to grow up to be basketball players but my coach kind of you know, got to me and said you know you 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 can either be a 6'6 power forward or you can be a you know um, a 6'6 defensive end you know maybe have opportunity to play in the NFL so that was my number growing up and um, you know, it's really kind of stuck with me. Osweiler fakes to Marshall, steps up, pocket closes, they've got him again! Carter being chased, he is down! He's down, Michael Buchanan! Michigan State, and um, it was funny because, you know, obviously, you know, I'm a, I'm a leaner guy, and um, I think around that time I was probably 220, you know, playing a kind of defensive end, outside linebacker. And um, I, was, I was on the right side, and I actually bull rushed the guy. You know, I kind of drove my way back to the quarterback, and, you know, everybody couldn't believe, you know, that, that was the move that I, you know, used to get my first sack. You know, I, I'm obviously, like, more of a speed guy, but, you know, it felt pretty good, you know, to show him that, you know, I can change my game up a little bit. And, um, you know, it felt great just, you know, go the guy back off the ball and, you know, get to the quarterback. Here's the third and ten play. The pocket closes, and the Illini drop Cousins. Michael Buchanan had nothing Illinois. Fourth and two, pass over the middle, deflected, and this time it's picked off. Michael Buchanan picks off the pass. Welcome back. Fighting Illini Insider continues as we look back at Illinois' football victory against Western Michigan, the first game of the Tim Beckman era here in Champaign. And uh, Tim, let's talk about the offense a little bit. Uh, got going early with the 64-yard touchdown pass from Nathan Shieldhouse to Ryan Lankford. Well, I think, uh, again, it was something that, that our coaching staff had, had, had figured out early, and we're going to see if we got that picture. And we got that picture, and uh, Nathan knew exactly how we were going to attack it. And uh, Ryan Lankford ran a... Uh, Great, great uh, route, which, you know, and it ends up being six points for us. But, again, it was the whole unit uh, protecting Nathan. So Nathan was able to throw it off the action, and there was Ryan Langford for six. We're happy for Ryan because we need some other young receivers to step up. With A.J. Jenkins gone to the NFL, guys like Malines and Langford and others have that opportunity. For Ryan, first touchdown for him in a couple of years and a good start for his season. You know, I think the, the three wide receivers that played for us throughout the game uh, did, good, uh, did a good job. Uh, Spencer Harris, uh, Darius Malines, those, that we have to step our games up. We have to continue to improve. We've got to get some younger players in the game. And uh, those are things that we're working towards as we go game by game. One guy on your team from uh, Louisville, Kentucky, who's a big guy who's been a tight end uh, before. Uh, he still might play that position some, maybe some receiver, but at a running back position on Saturday, he looked pretty good. Wow. I mean, he's, uh, you know, as being a defensive side of the ball guy a majority of my life, uh, you know, Jonathan does some outstanding things. He's hard to prepare for because you're not sure if he's going to be lined up in the backfield, if he's going to be lined up on the uh, out as wide receiver or as attached as a tight end. So uh, you've got a plan for that. And he did an outstanding job of running the football in the backfield. And then when we had to have routes, he made some plays. Yeah, I think John Davis with a couple of back-to-back -back carries, a total of about 30 yards in that ball game Saturday. 
far as special teams, uh, yes, on uh, Saturday it was a windy day. Of course, it didn't rain like we thought it would during the course yeah. of the game. But uh, obviously, when you're punting at Memorial Stadium, and uh, Justin Duvernois had a little bit of this last year, learning how to punt in the stadium. But obviously, with the wind, it was pretty good. Against the wind, it's always tough. Yeah, no question. He uh, he did a great job. I, re I really think that uh, his kicking is maturing as as we keep keep on to continuing to go here. Um, you know, I, I look for Justin to be a little bit more consistent on placement of the football. It's not about always how far you punt it. It's about putting it where we need it put so that we can get it covered. And uh, he continues to get better, but that's something that we definitely need to work on. And he did have a 72-yarder to end the half, and that uh, certainly was a great punt. 13th longest, by the way, in mm -hmm. school history. And also Nick Imicus uh, made a field goal, uh, his first collegiate uh, made field goal in his career. Sure, we were proud of Nick and, and Zach Patterson and just getting the snap back to him. Uh, you know, uh, the, the specialists are getting better. Uh, they're young. It's the first time they've been involved in these type games, so uh, we expect improvement each and every week. All right, we're going to uh, talk some more about some of the other sports going on at the University of Illinois, volleyball and soccer and cross country and all of that. Straight ahead as we continue with the Illini update. When we come back as well a little bit later, we'll talk about Illinois and Arizona State. We head to the desert coming up this weekend. All that and more on Fighting Illini Insider. Stay with us. Welcome back. Our final segment on Finding Illini Insider for this week. Brian Barnard with head coach Tim Beckman. And uh, coach, uh, again, just a good way to wrap up uh, the week with a win against Western Michigan. I know the uh, students, uh, sometimes on Labor Day or holiday, they will go home. Uh, they sure. stuck around. The block guy I thought was great on Saturday. Well, it's, that's huge. Uh, there's no question about it. It's the 12th man of, uh, in any facility that you play in. And uh, I was lucky enough on Thursday night um, to uh, go out and talk to the block guy. Uh, and, and I was so impressed with the leadership, impressed with the, uh, uh, the commitment that they have. I even invited them out when we're done with our, our players coming to the house. I'm going to have the, uh, the heads of the block eye come on to the, over to the house, have a little lasagna with us on a Thursday night. Overall, though, you're pretty pleased. I know there's always uh, you can make improvement from week one to week two, but uh, just overall your impressions of the first week. Well, you know, defensively, I thought we did a, did a good job in creating turnovers, and, uh, you know, we, we had some uh, coverage uh, difficulties on a few things that we've got to get better on. Offensively, I thought we controlled the football in the first and third quarter. The things that we asked our offense to do. But there's things we have to be more consistent on offense. We have to find the identity. And then f uh, fundamentals on special teams, I think we improved in those things. But again, uh, placing the football and doing the little things that can take that unit uh, to the top. Well, Arizona State, we go to the desert. We know it's going to be warm out there. You've, you've uh, trained for that with the hydration and all the things that happen. We practiced in the, the warm weather in Rantoul. But uh, tell us about the Sun Devils a little bit, a coach that you're pretty familiar with. Well, Coach Grantham does a great job, and uh, you know I have the utmost respect for him. His programs that he's run at Tulsa and at, at Pittsburgh, he does an outstanding job. Uh, they're offensively, they're going to be a fast-paced football team. Defensively, they're going to bring pressure here and there. Uh, you know, in special teams, as you watched them, uh, as I watched them throughout uh, this week, they have done an exceptional job. Scored a lot of points last week against uh, Northern Arizona. Uh, it's, we know it'll be a challenge and uh, one that we look forward to. I know they don't have the big quarterback anymore, Osweiler, but uh, I'm sure with uh, Coach Graham coming in, he's got a system in place that, uh, that, as you said, you're familiar with and a guy that has been able to score a lot. His Tulsa teams were really good. Really good. Really good. He's had success wherever he's been at. And, uh, you know, being at Oklahoma State and Stillwater only an hour from Tulsa, you got a lot of feel for what Coach Grantham does. And, and uh, all I can say is that his team will be ready, his team will be prepared, and uh, we know it'll be a challenge. All right, Tim. Hey, good luck out there in the desert. We'll be traveling with you, of course. Looking forward to Illinois and Arizona State from Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe on Saturday night. 9.30 Central Time will be the uh, kickoff for that one. And that's it for this week's show. For head coach Tim Beckman and our entire crew, I'm Brian Barnhart. We'll see you next week on Fighting Illini Insider. <laughs>